my name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. And this program is Behind the Scenes, a weekly program we tape right near the studio at 222 North 6th Street. And you know, I like this program a lot. I don't know about you, but as I start gathering information about what's going on here during the week, I just, I just have to take time and thank God. You know, this is God's ministry. And yes, we are all working together. You, the viewer, you, the one that prays for us, you that financially support us, all of our volunteers, all of our employees, their families, all the people that come and guest on programs, the pastors that come for Pastor Speaks, uh, our host. I mean, there's a lot of people involved. But you know, when I look at what God has done, wow, he can get a lot of work done with just a few people. And you know, we read that in the Bible over and over. And it even tells us about the harvest in the end days, that the harvest is ready, but the workers are few. And I'll tell you, I am thankful for those workers that have said yes to God when he said, I want you to be a part of WTJR. There's a place for you in that ministry. There's something you can do. And you even do that when you uh, write us a, a little note or when you see us out in public and, and share with us about how a program has touched your life or encouraged you. You know, we're all being a part because encouraging one another is important too, isn't it? Amen. Another very important thing is that we pray one for another. Amen. And that's what we've been talking about for several weeks now, prayer. And we're praising God that He... He, God, is moved by prayer. And we're going to use our verse from Colossians 4, 2 again this week. And it says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Continue in prayer. And I shared with you, with you also this same verse from the New American Standard Bible that says, devote yourselves to prayer keeping alert in it with an attitude of thanksgiving. You know, everything comes down to our heart. <laughs> our heart, you know. We can do something for someone else, but if we don't have love in our heart, what does the Bible says? It's just like clanging cymbals. You know, we're just making a loud noise. So whatever we do, we have to have an attitude of love, and an attitude, I believe, of reverence when we go before God. Reverence, why? Because our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That's how Jesus started the, the prayer when the disciples asked him to show them how to pray, right? Amen. So today, <clears throat> well, last week we started talking about an article I had found on the computer and it spelled out a guide for prayer, daily prayer. And it spelled out the word ACTS, A-C-T-S. And of course, last week we talked about A, and that was adoration. This week we're going to move to the letter C. And that stands for confession. Confession is another part of prayer. So... I looked up the meaning. we got to know what confession means, right? Confession is a written or spoken statement in which you say that you have done something wrong or committed a crime. It's also the act of telling people something that makes you embarrassed or ashamed. Sometimes we're embarrassed. We're afraid sometimes to tell people what we've done wrong. Confession is also the act of telling your sins to God. Telling your sins to God. So let's go into the Old Testament. Let's go to Isaiah uh, chapter 59. And I want to read verses 1 through 3 for you. Isaiah 59, 1 through 3. And it says, <clears throat> Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have laid, have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. 
for your hands are defiled with blood or wrongdoing, your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, your tongue hath murmured perverseness or error. I like that how it started, that the Lord's hand is not shortened. <laughs> I don't think there's any limit at all. It says his ear is not heavy. In other words, he doesn't have an answering machine. He doesn't get tired or weary for us to come to him. He wants us to come to him. In fact, uh, Jesus talked about that. I think it's Matthew 7, 7, ask, seek, and knock. Come and ask. He says, you have not because you ask not. So I'm thankful that God is there willing to listen. And he really cares about everything in our life. And you know what? He's the only one that's got the answer. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 51, verse 6. And it says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Truth. God is truth. God deals in truth. So we need to be truthful with God, right? There are no secrets from God. There are no secrets from God. The Bible says he knows our every thought and even the intent, the intent of our heart. So there's no secrets. So you might as well just sit down and talk to God. Confess your sin. Talk to him about it and ask him to forgive you. Because what? He is truth and he only deals in truth. Amen. Now, also in that same uh, verse, uh, Psalms 51, I want to read verses 16 and 17 for you. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. We have to be broken before the Lord. We have to be honest. We have to be humble. We have to realize that we have sinned and we have sins that we cannot pay, um, do enough good things, say enough good things to make them right. But what? God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So Jesus went to the cross he took on the sin of the world, it says. He paid a debt he didn't owe. What? So that you and I could confess our sins. And they could be forgiven. They could be cleansed. They could be washed away. The Bible says, God says, I will remember them no more. They are as far from the east as to the west. Amen. Far, far, far. If you go east, you're going to keep going east. They're never going to stop going east. So God remembers them no more. Now I want to go now to Psalms 32 and I want to read verses 1 through 7. That's several verses, but I think it's just important to know what God's word says. You know, I can say a lot of words, but there's not really power in my words. But when it comes from God and the Holy Spirit, from his word, there's power in those words. It will change you if you receive them into your life. Amen. Psalms 32, 1 through 7. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord inputteth not iniquity or sin, and in whose spirit there is no guile or deceit. When I kept silent, my bones waxed old. They became old through my roaring or groaning all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. When he may be found, don't wait. Do it right away. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. 
Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. Of course, this psalm was written by David. We know that David was a man after God's own heart. We know that David fell into sin. He fell into great sin. And it led him to another sin and another sin. But he cried out to God. And he said, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Covered by what? The blood of Jesus Christ. That should make you shout to know that is available to you. It's available to me. It's available to whosoever calls on the name of the Lord. And 1 John 1, 9, our last verse for today. Many of you have maybe even memorized this one. If we confess our sin. Now, do you hear that? If those two letters are a big, big word because what? It puts it into you and I's. It's up to us. It's our choice. If we confess our sins, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is the word of God. It's a promise you can stand on because God is truth. He made a way through his son, Jesus Christ. That was the whole reason that Jesus came to this earth and ministered was he came to seek and save the lost. He made a way through Calvary. When he arose from the dead, he defeated death. He made a way that you and I would have our sins forgiven. They would be washed away, cleansed, forgotten. Yes, not just covered over. They are gone. Now we have the hope of glory in heaven for eternity with God, our Heavenly Father. So confession is a very, very important part of prayer. Don't be too proud. Don't be fearful. Don't be ashamed. Because God already knew that we were sinners. It says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So God already knew we were going to sin. He's just waiting for you and I to come. 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 He'll be standing there with his arms wide open waiting for you. Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He is moved by our prayers. Amen. Well, we have several pictures for you this week because last Friday evening, oh, well, I thought I better talk about this picture first. And I thought the uh, appreciation dinner pictures were first. But this is our dear friends, Kyle Cobb and David Vance from Friends of Wild Olive Branch Ministries. And last week when they were here, they taped their 300th show. So we had to celebrate that. And we're just so glad they're a part of the WTGR family. I know many of you are blessed by that program. And here we are getting ready for Outreach Connection. And we taped a program with Coretta Mayfield Sykes. And uh, she has written a book and told some of her testimony. And she's getting ready to uh, have a concert uh, on the 14th of November over at the Croc Center. And she's stepping out in faith she, uh, where God has asked her to go. Yeah, stepping out in faith. I know you'll enjoy that program. And we also had uh, Bishop E.L. Warren and Timothy uh, Southers, and they are with uh, Life Christian University right here in Quincy, Illinois, information. So you can go to Bible College. Yeah, you can get a degree right here in Quincy, Illinois. So be sure and watch that program on Outreach Connection. Here I am on the set with Judy Redlick. Many of you may remember her. Uh, we used to play a program she hosted here called Christian uh, connection um, right here on WTGR years ago and she came up from St. Louis and taped a couple of programs with me and we just had a great time together so be sure and watch that on A Woman's Joy. Here we are on the set with well Jim Wilson there uh, in the back on the right uh, he's in the production room during A Woman's Joy in the middle is Karen, our administrative assistant. And then uh, Judy had a friend, uh, Rita, and she uh, drove her up from St. Louis. Amen. This shows one of the tables for the pastor appreciation dinner. And we kind of used the uh, P 
patriotic, red, white, and blue. And uh, on the middle there, 175 stands for celebrating the 175th year uh, anniversary of our city of Quincy. Amen. These are some of the pastors, their wives that attended. We had Pastor Tim and uh, Maya Red, uh, Cathedral of Worship. Uh, this is Pastor Tom and Carolyn Mahaffey, and they are with Bowen Christian Church in Bowen, Illinois. Here we have Matthew and Tamara Yoder, and they are evangelists, and they live at uh, Basco. And we also have a picture of their son, David. He was there with them. Then we have Pastor James Haley and his wife, Lois, with Bethel AME Church here in Quincy. And this is Isaac and Tiffany, and they both um, attend Cathedral of Worship and work with the Life Christian University. We have Gary and Kathy Schlockover, and of course, Gary is host of Outreach Connection here at WTGR, but he also helps uh, at Riverside Community Church. We have Marty and Betty Miller, and uh, they have the Gospel Shed there in Hannibal, Missouri. This is Greg and Stephanie, and Greg is a uh, chaplain at the Blessing Hospital, and it's the first time to have them with us, and it was so glad to uh, meet his wife, Stephanie, and I'm sure and believe they had a good evening with us. Amen. Then this is Dennis and Amona Sincer, and he is the Christian Education Minister at First Baptist Church here in Quincy, Illinois. And we have Mike and Jackie Schaefer, and they are with Great Works Ministries here in Quincy, Illinois. This is Mike and Floyd, and he brought another pastor. The first time I met him, his name is Robert. Uh, Mike Floyd is pastor at Waterford uh, Community Church at Luston, Illinois. And, of course, this is their wives, and on the uh, left is Barbara Floyd, and I'm sorry I did not write down Robert's wife's uh, name, but uh, Robert and his wife started a church in Liverpool, Illinois, his River of Life. And I'm, we were praising God that night because they announced it used to be a restaurant tavern. And now it's now a beautiful church. And they were having dedication coming up, I think, this it's very Sunday. Amen. We have um, Ken Moyers and his wife, Marla. And he's a missionary evangelist, and he is from Burlington, Iowa. We have Jerry and Patsy Spratt, pastors of Augusta Assembly of God Church in Augusta, Illinois. And we have Dr. Orville Jones and his lovely wife, Lena. And, of course, that's First Baptist Church here in Quincy, Illinois. That just shows a picture of some of the tables. We uh, remove the cameras. We set up tables and decorate and and uh, have a program, and we have good fellowship, and it was a wonderful, wonderful evening. We had a great, great time of prayer and felt God's presence. Amen. This is Pastor Rick Neal with uh, Jesus Minist or Jail Ministry for Jesus, I should say. And uh, he's from Macomb, Illinois, and he was on Pastor Speaks. And then we have Pastor Gary Wallace with River of Life Church here in Quincy, Illinois. He was also here last week to tape a program. And then we have Outreach Connection. Uh, in the middle is Bonnie Furness. She's from Fowler, Illinois. And we have a pastor missionary from Haiti. And his name was Salonja. And I'm, I've forgotten the last name, and I'll probably not say it correctly, but anyway... What a wonderful, wonderful time it was to meet him and hear the testimony of how God has helped them. They have a church, they have a school, and all the outreach work they're doing there in Haiti with Living Water Christian Mission. And that's a wonderful program. You want to be sure and watch it uh, coming up in a few weeks on Outreach Connection. And then uh, I taped a program with uh, Gary Schlockover for Outreach Connection talking about prayer and how we're going to be starting a WTJR prayer center and uh, we're going to have 24 seven prayer and I'm excited about that. So you'll be hearing more and more about it each week as it comes together. And then the today, <clears throat> uh, earlier today, Michael 
Sisk, our volunteer, put up our Christmas tree. And I know it's really too early for a Christmas tree, but we put the shoe boxes under there. Because they pick the shoe boxes up the end of November, we like to have the tree up so when people bring their shoe boxes, we can get a picture and have it for uh, behind the scenes. And of course, that's the red bird that's on our tree. It's really beautiful in red and white. I thank Michael for sharing his gifts and talents with us here at WTJR. Amen. Okay, I do want to give a thank you out um, on past appreciation dinners. You could see we had round tables and cloths. And I want to thank John at Riverside Tents for the donation of the uh, tables. And also to Wayne at Aramark for the donation of the white tablecloths. And their numbers are there on the screen. We really appreciate them wanting to bless us, WTGR, and to bless the pastors. So we say thank you to John and Wayne. Monthly church totals for October, we had eight churches giving a total of $820. And those churches were Denver Christian Church, Carthage, Illinois, Faith Missions Outreach, Quincy, Illinois, First Assembly of God, Ewing, Missouri, Glory Worship Center, Clayton, Illinois, House of Prayer in Kinderhook, Illinois, Loman Chapel, Shabina, Missouri, Pontusi Community Church, Pontusi, Illinois, and Salt River Christian Church at New London, Missouri. Again, we want to say thank you for helping us preach the gospel here at WTJR. Amen. So winning training uh, on Fridays, started Friday, November the 6th. We are having worship and prayer at 9.30 a.m. And then, weather permitting, we'll go out on the streets at 10. And if not, we'll just get in the Word for about a half hour. If you want more information about this, you can call the station at the number on the screen. Also, you can join us on Mondays for prayer from 1 to 2 p.m. right here in the WTGR studio. Welcome to anybody that wants to come and pray with us. And if you do have prayer requests, you can call in the station and Karen will answer the phone. She'll be honored to pray with you. Or you can send your prayer request to email tv16 at wtgr.org. Be sure you call back or email us back with your praise reports. Coming up real soon, celebrate Jesus at the Holiday Inn, 4821 Oak Street here in Quincy, Illinois, on Monday, December the 7th. We have a meal at 6 p.m. followed by a concert with the Lesters from St. Louis, Missouri and the Chosen Ones from Manchester, Illinois. For tickets, you can contact us here at the station. They are a $25 donation per person. And I will let you know we only have about 70 tickets left. We have to limit the number of people we put in the room. And so you want to get your tickets quickly uh, by calling us here at the station. Postage stamps, aluminum pop tabs, we're still collecting them. And I thank you to each one of you that put them in with your donation checks and send them to us because you're helping us reach out and help other people by doing that. Amen. Mexico 2015 Shoebox Ministry in memory of Roger Hamm and Wild Olive Branch Ministries. And there's a list of some of the items you can get and put in your shoebox. Uh, we also have a list here at the studio if you want to pick one up. And um, we wanted you to be sure and mark on your box if it's for a boy or a girl and the ages. And you need to drop them off here by the studio by Monday, November the 30th. That's the drop-off date, Monday, November 30th, for the shoeboxes that will go to Mexico. And uh, when you come in, you can see the tree and get your picture taken. Amen. Amen. Also, coming up on WTJR Classic, Somebody Cares program that was hosted by Pat Geisendorfer. And this one was recorded November of 1995. That will air next week on Wednesday at 10 p.m., Thursday at 4.30 p.m., and Saturday at 12 noon. Coming up on Outreach Connection, our guests are David and Debbie Amsler, and they are missionaries to Guadalamala. And they'll be talking about One Way and Planet Kids. And that will start airing on Monday the 9th at 9.30 p.m. or 9.30 a.m. Wednesday the 11th at 9 p.m. And Saturday the 14th at 7 p.m. 
And coming up on Pastor Speaks, we have Dr. Anthony Allen. He's president of Hannibal LaGrange University. He brought forth a message, Crossroads of Decision. That will air on Sunday the 8th at 2 p.m., Tuesday the 10th at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday the 11th at 7.30 p.m. Coming up on the Family Movie Night, we'll have part two of The Covenant Writer. And uh, you'll want to be sure and watch it, especially if you watched part one last week, right? But that will air on Saturday, November 14th at 8 p.m. and Sunday, November the 15th at 11.30 p.m. And if some of you remember from last week, you probably saw Kenneth Copeland on there. This was a worldwide production film, and Kenneth Copeland did air on some of their films. So here we have a promo that we will show you of The Covenant Writer. fire if you've got any decency. That's a boy. Well, well. Got it. It'll be all right. Oh, girl. It'll be all right. That's right, son. Oh, girl. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. I'll get him for you. It'll be all right. Bill, that's Reno. That's one of the men I'm after right there. Reno! Let the boy alone. Ty! Get away from that man! It's all right, ma'am. I won't hurt the boy. No! No! <laughs> Can't let him take the kid. Reno! My life for the boys. No deal, Gunner. You want a deal? Meet us in Silver City. Nicodemus, you get the horses. Elmer, supplies. <laughs> they die. We're gonna get him back, Lizzie. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's part two of the Covenant Rider coming up on the family movie on Saturday, November the 14th at 8 p.m. and Sunday, November 15th at 11.30 p.m. right here on WTJR. Well, I just want to remind you again to take time and Spend with the Lord in prayer. Just sit and talk to Him like I'm talking to you. Praise Him. Thank Him. Have an attitude of thanksgiving, yes, in your heart. Bring your petitions, your confessions, and just let Him love you through it. He'll be there for you. You just go to Him, okay? Until next week, God bless you. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio location, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to noon on Friday. See these hands? 